Hello, St. Paul's. My name is Brett Foster. I'm the treasurer for St. Paul's here in Brookline. I have two slides to share with everybody today. Um, the first is a look at our financial results through the first half of 2021 compared to the budget. And the second slide is an outlook of income and expenses for the rest of the year and how that compares to budget. I'm going to share those with you right now. Okay, um, all things considered, our first half and full year outlook are very good and very much in line with our expectations. Um, if you, the only significant areas of unfavorability compared to the budget are in the utility and maintenance categories. Oil and gas usage was higher than we expected in January, February, and March. And we recently had to replace a faulty fire panel. And lastly, on a couple of occasions, we needed to get some professional help to, do, to deal with some plumbing and pest issues in the preschool area. Areas that are better than budget are pledges and payroll costs. Um, now, the um, pledges are up about $10,000 compared to when we solidified the budget back in January, which is great news. Uh, and we are slightly ahead in collection of those pledges. Thanks to all of you. Now, um, regarding the favorability that we see here on um, staff payroll and benefits, th that's not real. Uh, I made a timing error while drafting the budget. Every year, there are two months that actually have an extra pay period. And I thought those months were June and December. But actually, the months with the extra pay period are July and December. So of the $16,000 of favorability that we see here on this row compared to budget, $13,000 of it is because of a bad budget timing. In Q3, things will even out on a year-to-date basis, and I expect full year to be very much in line with our budget. All right, now we can move on to the full year view. Uh, I expect that income will be better than budget for the year, given the higher level of committed pledges, grants, and um, the fact that events are making a comeback. On the expense side, you can see payroll evens out for the year compared to budget. Um, the Q3 and Q4 dollar amounts are ticking up. Um, most of that is from the extra pay periods, but we also have budgeted for a new children's and youth director starting later this summer. We had a very um, orderly parish administrator transition from Jill to John, and we were lucky to get several weeks of cross training. That led to slightly higher costs, but worth every penny. On the utility uh, and maintenance, I didn't assume that we would get back to budget. As we look forward to re-entering the building this fall, we'll need to make sure that the space is both ready and comfortable. You know, we strive for a balanced budget every year. Um, this was one of those years that we thought it was possible to do. And while each category has some pluses and minuses, as you can see, I think we have a very good path to being both balanced and on budget. To wrap things up, I want to say thank you to everyone that supports this parish uh, in time, in talent, uh, and in treasure. So until uh, next quarter, uh, I hope that everybody has a uh, very uh, safe and uh, happy summer. Thank you.